Right, never a moment's rest in the auction rooms here. We literally had the antique sale yesterday, which was um, about 800 lots of all sorts, furniture and silver, extremely busy day yesterday. We have moved on from that, and we're now looking forward to our next sale, which is a picture sale, which is next Wednesday. We have about 400 lots of paintings and prints in that sale, and I've got a few here that I've lined up just of particular interest, but we do hold this sale every four weeks. So by tomorrow, the walls will be filled with paintings. We've moved all the furniture out of the way, and then we fill the place with pictures. The sale is now online to, to browse through, but here are a few of the main things. So this is uh, an original um, 1917, I think this was published, um, a YMCA um, lithograph poster for, um, for this, Help the Fighters Fight. It's a great poster, great image this. Um, probably worth about um, four or five hundred pounds for that poster. Nicely framed as well, that one. Um, this is um, an oil painting uh, by Fred Cuming, who's a, a local artist, a rye-based artist. This is a painting that Orchard, not sure where it is, but um, he's a very highly rated Royal Academy artist. Um, that, if you bought it in a gallery, would probably set you back sort of between um, between five and 10,000, I should think, for a picture that sort of size by him. And it's quite an early one by him as well. Um, this one is going to be between 1,500 and 2,500 at auction. But a good investment, that one. Um, again, in the poster line, look at that. Enjoy your holiday, but watch Toddlers. That was published for the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. It's a nice original poster print there. Um, that one's probably going to be around £100 or so for an original poster there. A few other things here coming up for sale. Um, it's a Richard Adams pastel drawing. It's quite a fun thing there. Sort of three or £400 worth. A Geoffrey Chatton um, coastal oil on board there. It's sort of 1970s, I should think, the period of that one. That one's worth um, two or £300. Pounds. So a few more things here. This is... Um, where are we? This, this is a um, watercolour by Jean Hélion, who's a, a French, a very famous French artist. This was dated 1963. Um, this one we're probably going to be getting um, between 1,000 and 1,500 for that one. His pictures can be up into hundreds of thousands for his pictures. A um, couple of other things here. There's an Irish painting by Maurice Canning Wilkes. He's a very highly rated Irish artist as well. This is a scene in Connemara. That one should be a thousand to fifteen hundred. An original Norman Thelwell. Um, this would have been a published um, pen and ink drawing. What with the schools breaking up and all this horse show stuff on TV, I can hardly cope. Look at that. It's a nice little thing, isn't it? That should be sort of three to five hundred or so for that. Um, in, also in this sale, there's pictures absolutely everywhere here. Um, got a whole collection of antique maps here. So on this side table, we've got um, probably about 20 lots of these early maps. I mean, to give you an idea of the sort of period, that's an old, old map of Great Britain from 1636. Look at that, when the Meridian Line was to the left of Great Britain. So you can see, um, you can see the lines of Meridian here. But that's a particularly early map there. Another one of Great Britain here from 1772. And a lot of these are from the 1600s. There's absolutely loads of these this time. And most of these are 100 or two pounds. But again, really interesting things to hang on the wall here. And some Japanese woodblock prints as well. Got quite a few of those this time, which are... So these are 19th century colour woodblock prints very collectible things, but about 400 lots in this picture sale. It's all illustrated on the website now, so well worth a browse through. Every single picture is photographed four times, so there's masses of, masses of photos to have a look through, and the sale's next Wednesday in the afternoon. Thank you.